guys welcome to monday morning monday the 6th of july luca is with my mum i am ready to crack on it's quarter to 10 but i have been in here since about eight eight o'clock i think something like that um working on a few bits um, but I finally got dressed, so I thought I'll put the camera on. <laughs> um, I have sat and made my lists for the day of what I want to get done. Um, the biggest thing is, I mentioned it in my last video, my Cricut machine is not working with Bluetooth. And a lot of the comments were, yeah, mine isn't too, <laughs> rather than a solution. So instead of spending time trying to fix it when I could be productive, I am going to, so this is my plan, Currently my Cricut's there, if you can see. I am gonna move this table here next to me so I have one really long table um, and put my Cricut machine here so that I can plug it into the computer. One, because that was meant to be a packing table but I don't pack there. That's just my, I'm gonna dump my parcels there table. I actually package here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that will move here. And then that little set of drawers I could potentially put there and it can still be my packages table. <laughs> I need to do that first because I've got loads of stickers to restock um, before I could package orders from the weekend. So that's my first job is tidy because it's a mess <laughs> like it always is on a Monday morning and move things. So let's crack on with that first and then I'll chat to you about what's coming up this week. I hope you're all okay by the way. Thank you so much for watching. You may have noticed at the start of the video that I am carrying on with my fundraising. So um, yeah, we had such an amazing month in June raising money for Black Lives Matters. I am carrying it on because yeah, let's raise as much money as possible. So that's why there's more adverts. Thank you so much for supporting me. Um, yeah, right, let's get into it. So what I need to do is move this desk up here and then hopefully there's enough room back there so let me pop you there <laughs> and see how this works out okay i'm done i'm really sweaty <laughs> need to crack a window let's do that um so i've done it i've done it i've one long really long desk um i decided to put my cricket here um and then my computer is kind of in the same spot and then packing station up there so it's kind of just like one really big desk um and then i've popped my drawers over there so it's good it means i've got a teddy bear as you walk in but so let me see if i put you down in your usual spot so that's kind of how we were, right? Like nothing's changed for you. <laughs> um, but I have my cricket machine here and my packing station there on one long desk. So now that that's done, that's ticked off my list. Where is my list? Oh, it's here. Hopefully, if I turn my cricket machine on, my cricket machine's working. So now I can print loads of stickers and I will be packaging some orders. Um, so thank you so much if you've ordered this weekend just gone i am going to spend some time now packaging them up and then i did those on friday night on a live on instagram live <laughs> i went on instagram live i planned to go on for 10 minutes i was on for three hours nearly two and a half something like that packaging orders um and singing disney songs so thank you so much if you joined me it was so much fun okay let me go make some stickers and then we'll package some orders Okay, I already love my Cricut machine being next to me. <laughs> no more, I mean it is very lazy, but I don't have to keep getting up <laughs> to do stickers, is that really bad? So I'm currently trying to do a hundred things at once. Oh my God, somebody's drawn me. <gasps> oh my dear Lord. Ruby, Ruby from Ruby's Imagination has drawn me, look. Oh my god, look! She made me so pretty! 
Ruby, thank you so much. You are an absolute gem. I love it. high back chair now. Oh, feels so nice. Best thing I've done is bought this chair. A lot of people are asking about where it's from. It's from Argos. And I saw it a while ago, but it's never been in stock. So um, yeah, if you like it, I think it's £100, which seems a lot, but you know what? It's so worth it to be able to sit and put my neck back. I think does anyone else get this when the cricket's been gone? When the cricket's going all day and the printer's going and you're staring at a screen and got a headache. Anyway, I need to power through because I've only got a few hours left of work. So I'm gonna power through. I why why have I turned the camera on? Don't know. I don't I don't know what to say. Just wanted to let you know I've got a headache. <laughs> I was looking through the questions that I've got from my patrons that I need to answer on this podcast. It, it reminded me of a question I get pretty much daily now, um, which is, how the hell are you doing it all? <laughs> I'll literally tell you the question. How do you schedule everything with a baby? How do you juggle everything and still get stuff done? Um, and I've, I get asked this the most, I think it is my most, asked question is how do you juggle everything um and the answer is honestly not very well i'm getting a lot of work done um and things are going well and you know it's it's working out great and things are going well with luca like i'm i'm doing it and i'm being a mum i'm getting stuff done but I personally feel a bit drained at the minute. Although I'm like on top of the world, <laughs> I feel drained like this headache now. It's just like, oh. Um, and I don't know what the solution is. I don't know what the solution is. I don't work loads compared to some people. Like I'll work all day today and like half a day tomorrow. And then that's kind of it. So I'm not overworking myself, really. Hang on, phone call coming in. Hello, it is, hi. Oh, hi, yeah. Yeah, second, second standard. I don't need proof of postage. Yes, thank you. Thank you, bye. That was my post office. <laughs> Just checking what my post is. What was I saying? Um, yeah, I just feel um, like I'm not working loads. I'm not working crazy hours. I think it, I think the problem is it's non-stop. <laughs> so if I'm not in here, I'm mum. I'm being mum. And then as soon as mum ends and he falls asleep, if I'm not back in here, I'm getting into bed. And then 
he's waking in the night still, so it's just non-stop. But that's being a mum, isn't it? You don't get time off of being a mum. <laughs> I'm still coming to terms with that, that you don't get time off. So I feel like this, so it's non-stop, it's crazy. I'm trying my best to juggle it all. And then I get about three or four messages a day asking how I'm doing it all and how I'm so doing so well. And it's just like, oh my gosh, Emily, are you kidding yourself? <laughs> You're exhausted, I'm exhausted. So, yeah, um, I might look like I've got it all together. And, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I think I do need to maybe have a week off fully. Like I was meant to go on holiday in May and obviously that didn't happen. But instead of having time off, I just carried on working. Does that make sense? And I'm probably not gonna have a holiday now till next year, so a part of me is like, should I be really organized? Like plan August Patreon content now, get it ready to go, and just then not do anything. Like have everything scheduled to go out, and then I can just sort of sit back and enjoy August. Like sometimes I think like that, but then I think, no. I love doing this. Brings me lots of happiness. So, yeah. Basically, I don't know why I've just jumped on to tell you that, but I do constantly worry that I'm I'm giving off this vibe that I'm like this superwoman <laughs> who's like getting loads of work done and bossing it being a mum and um yes yeah, that's n that's not the case <laughs> remember you're only seeing a small portion of my day and although i'm and the times that i film i'm filming when i'm being productive so yeah just bear that in mind when you watch people that sometimes you're not getting a true representation not that i'm lying but i'm just if I can only film 10 minutes a day, I'm going to show you the most productive parts and the best parts. Um, and I think people sometimes think, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, not, it's a weird one. Anyway, I'm going to go and answer these questions. I've got about 10 questions to answer on this podcast. Um, and then I will carry on making stickers because I've still got more to make. <laughs> um, but yeah, this isn't me complaining because I'm loving life. Um, just a bit tired but we'll get there if anyone else is tired please let me know below <laughs> let's all just share our tiredness together right let me record this podcast because it's 10 past three already oh i've just done my podcast stickers are almost finished orders are packaged half four and I'm exhausted <laughs> I am so so tired today so I think I'm gonna sign off <laughs> not very exciting is it um but not every week is a um full of energy week I'm really really tired Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna do the last of these stickers. Um, I'm just gonna export this podcast. Um, how do I do that? I can't remember, oh yeah. Um, and I'm gonna upload that to Patreon um, so that it goes out tomorrow morning. So that's done, I suppose. That's something ticked off my list. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for all the yawning. <laughs> and I'm probably making you yawn watching this just not not full of energy today unfortunately but I have got loads done I need to not put myself down I have got a lot of stuff done I've actually ticked everything off that I wanted to get done today so that is good I'll catch up with you tomorrow and we'll figure out we'll just figure out what we're doing tomorrow <laughs> I'm out of breath. Just walked up the stairs. <laughs> That's my life now. Hope you're all doing okay. It's now Tuesday. 
um and i feel better this morning i feel like i got quite a lot of sleep in so that's good honestly it's one of those where i feel like i don't have anything to do but at the same time i've got loads of stuff to do do you know what i mean <laughs> i've got loads of things i need to prepare for but it seems just so far away. It seems like three weeks away until my patron box is out and my new collection launches. Like three weeks, I'm thinking, I don't need to get anything done yet, do I? But the truth is I really, really do. <laughs> I need to work on something. Um, let me see what list I made last night. Clean my printer. <laughs> That's the top of today's list. And I need to top up the ink. I need to go to the post office. Package up my A3 prints, the winners, do that. Um, I need to print off some uh, things because I've launched a secret shop. So on my website, you won't be able to find it, but for my top tier patrons, there's now a secret shop. So they have access to like old patron boxes that they might not have had and things like that. And I'm thinking um, I might put some exclusive items on there. I'm not sure, I'm still thinking about it, but um, I launched that yesterday. And I had some orders, so I need to make up some, I need to print some things, <laughs> so I need to do that. So as you can see, like it's not a really exciting day of things, it's just kind of, I don't know. You've got to have days like that sometimes though, don't you? Um, but I am so close to 4,000 subscribers, I cannot actually believe it how close I am. Does anyone remember the first vlog of the year, this year in January? I'll leave a little um, clip in now. But I just hit a thousand and I was so excited about it. Hey, let me show you. It's Tuesday the 7th of January. I just wanted to pop on and say hi and say welcome. Lots has happened in two weeks since I have chatted to you. There's over a thousand of you. In the last studio vlog, I hadn't hit a thousand. So I have done over Christmas. So thank you so, so much. And um, yeah, I can't wait for 2020. So it's scary to think that that was seven months ago six months ago, seven months ago, like, it's crazy. And I'm now like 50 away from 4,000. <laughs> it's just mental. Um, so yeah, I still have that like giddiness <laughs> that I did when I hit 1,000. So um, yeah, right, let me go. I'm gonna do all my little rubbish little tasks, <laughs> like cleaning a printer. I won't show you that. Um, and I'm hoping to have a few deliveries today. So if I do, I will show you. Hi guys, it's now half two. I've got a lovely spot going that's really sore. I have actually been filming for two other videos today. <laughs> so I'm sorry that I've not chatted to you. Um, one video, I don't know when it will be out because I'm wait I've not finished the video yet. I've actually applied to be a Giphy artist. So you know when you go on Instagram and you get stickers on Instagram and, and, and you can add them to your stories? I've spent time today making those and applying to be an artist. So as soon as, hopefully, fingers crossed, I get approved, I will finish that video and get it up for you. Um, so I've done that today. And then also, um, I have had a parcel from Hobbycraft. I've done a little shopping spree on Hobbycraft and I've done an unboxing, or I'm gonna do an unboxing for my patrons for next week. So this today has been a bit of like a sort everything else out so I've not really been able to talk to you. So what I'm gonna do now, as like my last thing I can do today before Matt goes back to work, is I'm gonna package up all of those A3 prints. So I need to number them, roll them, put them in the tubes, put the addresses on, um, and then they can go to the post office. So I'll do that now. Also, sorry that it's so dark today. It's very um, moody today, which I kind of like. I wanna get some like fairy lights. Um, I had a delivery of, I don't know if I talked about this, but a couple of weeks ago, I had some issues with my stationery, you know, with my pads being thinner than they should be. So I went with a different company and I've ordered some more properly. And then the original company got back to me and said, hey, we've reprinted you loads. So I've now got lots. <laughs> the problem is the, the ones from the new company, have been printed slightly lighter and actually more accurate to what I wanted. So let me see if I can show you a before and after. Sorry, it's so dark. So this is the original company that did them. 
this is the new and actually this is more what I wanted so I like these more which is good the problem is it's all part of a set my whole set is like this and I worry selling that this one the lighter one is going to be an issue you know if people buy the full set so let me know what you think but I really prefer this and this is the company that I'm going to use going forward so I'm wondering if I don't sell these yet I keep selling them like this until all of them have run out and then I can start again like this I think that's what I'm gonna do does that make sense so instead of selling them two different styles I wait until the old batch are fully sold out and then start again with the new batch that look nicer and a bit lighter well they're not nicer they look fine like no one would know the difference but I intended them intended for them to be like the second lot so anyway that's that's what I'm doing right let me do these a3 prints <laughs> So, I got nothing done today. I started doing the posters, then Luca woke up. <laughs> He's just fallen asleep. It's 10 to 8 and I'm back in here. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. Do you ever watch other studio vlogs? Like, I love watching them so much. And usually people make like really delicious drinks usually really nice coffees or like they cook really healthy lunches that they sit and eat and like there's some beautiful music while they're cooking lunches I wish I had the time to do that <laughs> do you want to know what I'm having <laughs> you've come here for the real content <laughs> so um yeah I am about to eat the Domino's and I'm going to um, sit and message my patrons because to this week has been mental. Uh, I think I'm at 197 patrons now, which is mental. And I've definitely not kept on top of messaging each person as they've joined. So I'm gonna spend tonight messaging everybody, just making sure they're okay, they know what they're doing. Um, might put a Disney soundtrack on in the background and eat pizza. I mean, it sounds like heaven to me. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> well, my vlogs aren't the most exciting. And hopefully I do something exciting tomorrow. Let's see if we can get some comments in. Um, so everybody here, we've just hit 4,000 followers, subscribers, sorry. So we'll just do a little Instagram live. So yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Hopefully you can see your name on the vlog this week. Oh, Nicole, thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Hi guys, good morning. I'm just uh, antibacterialing everywhere like you should. It's not even morning, did I just say good morning? Because it's definitely not morning, it's 10 past three. Luca was wide awake at half four this morning. I had to stop doing what I did yesterday, the um, rolling up the prints. So I need to do them now. I've got loads of orders to do. Oh my God, that's more than I thought. So, and I need to get those done as well. So priorities are roll up those prints, get these orders done. And um, what I wanted to chat about was, my PO box has come again. Now, this is, <laughs> is going a little bit mental, which is amazing. Like honestly, reading the letters is just insane. Um, but don't worry, I'm not going to do a P.O. Box unboxing on every video because it's going to be insane. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out everything and I'm going to put it all onto Instagram stories and leave a highlight. So if you want to go through and like see, find businesses, please, I really encourage you to do so. Um, but once I've laid everything out, I'll quickly show you on the vlog because I've been given some gorgeous things. Let's um, let's go, let's be productive, let's go, go, go. So no joke, this is everything that I've just been sent in my peer box. <laughs> I got given so much stuff. 
so yeah head over to instagram um i've left a little highlight on there so you can see everything so now i'm just making some stickers um and i've got quite a few stickers to make um and then i will package orders i'll get that done uh, so much to do so little time i've got about 40 minutes zoomed in is that right no let's go this way that's better <laughs> it's um it's 10 to 8 luca has gone to bed and um i am broken i, f I feel i feel broken i was gonna come in here and do more work but i just don't know if i can i've got no energy I'm just exhausted. <laughs> um, yeah, this week's been um this week's been a weird one because you know on the one hand I'm the busiest I've ever been and everything's going great, but on the other hand <sighs> Luke is not sleeping. Which means I'm not sleeping. I'm just really tired and yeah just feeling a bit drained um like this week has just been a kind of admin week hasn't it and catching up with orders and like these orders should have gone out today but I've just not been able to do it and it's just sometimes you've just got to accept defeat I just say uh, no nope, not happening this week can't do it all so I've printed everything off so I've printed off these does anyone remember these from like last year um was it last year or early this year oh, I don't know time's moving so fast um I've added these prints to my like secret shop so for my patrons um they can buy some of my old stuff that's not in my shop anymore um so it's available for like my top tier but a few of my patrons are messaging me saying can you open it to more tiers so um it's a hard one i don't know what to do i'm tempted to leave it open for just my top tier and then maybe once a year maybe twice a year opening it up to everybody um we'll see anyway i didn't need to tell you that i'm just oh right this is the plan the plan is to go to bed, turn everything off and not worry about it. Tomorrow I am going to package my orders so that everything is out and I have zero left. Um, and then I'm going to sign off for the week and try again next week. Um, but what I'll do before I sign off for the night, because I promised I would, I got this P.O. box. Not today, it was before today I got this. And I read the letter and I said, um, I said I would open the package on the vlog. Um, so I still haven't opened them yet. So 
I got this note, a really lovely note from Claire from Featherfall Arts. And um, the letter is just beautiful. Um, she started her Etsy shop in March selling stickers. Oh, she's cute. Thank you so much for sending me that. She's really cool. I love all of her like um, markings on her skin. It's really awesome. Here's another one. Look at that. They're so nice. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm not overexcited. I'm just so tired. But they are really lovely. Yeah, I really like the little markings you do on their, on their skin. It's really, really unique. I really like that. So thank you so much, Claire. Thanks for sending me those. I'll leave Claire's details below so you can go and check her out. I'm gonna go. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for, um, yeah, it's not been a great week. Next week's gonna be good. I can already feel it. I've got loads I want to do next week. Things I wanna start showing you, um, of new things that are coming out. Like, let's make next week a good one. Um, but thanks so much for watching anyway. <laughs> and um, I will see you next week. Bye guys.